She enjoyed injecting her patients with cement. 18 months she suffered with not knowing the full of what he put in her body. She promised permanent cosmetic modifications, but she was selling tickets to their doom. She scammed hundreds of patients with her special treatments. I have never, ever, or would dare ever to inject or have injected any human with any type of unknown substance. However, her evil and insanity would end lives. O'Neill Ron Morris is a transgender woman who used to perform cosmetic surgeries in Florida, especially posterior augmentations. But one day, her disgusting secrets were exposed. She had a great reputation and even sported her own augmentations until her patients started falling ill with immediate symptoms of infection. Some thought these were just side effects, and one day, tragedy struck. You gave us your word that the product she was using was A1 products. The symptoms began with intense pain in the area where the surgery had been performed. And then, the skin grew deformed. Therefore, her patients were analyzed and construction materials were found inside of them. From cement mixes to glue, even tire sealing. All extremely toxic substances for the human body that forced them to seek medical treatment. But one of them couldn't get it in time. My daughter got the most inhumane. 18 months she suffered with not knowing the full of what he put in her body. It was Shatarka Nubi who fought against the symptoms for months until she passed away. And now it was Morris's time to pay for her actions. The cement doctor had to appear in court where the families of the victims expressed their pain. She's not free, kids! No reward! Everyone wanted she be made an example and O'Neill had more than one crime under her belt. She had been reported in the past, not only because of her procedures, but because she didn't have a medical license. However, she would try to get away. She told the judge she was innocent. I have never, ever, or would dare ever to inject or have injected any human with any type of unknown substance that these were all false accusations. I have been found guilty by the media and outside sources based on lies. However, the court had their verdict already. She was sentenced to 10 years in prison, plus five years probation, for the indirect crime of Shatarka Nubi and the accusations of dozens of women that admitted they had suffered terribly after being scammed by Morris. I'm concerned. <laughs> Fifteen years is not enough. Dr. Cement never showed any remorse. She just wanted to earn money with her scam. Not caring about the damage she was causing. There's no clone. Putting Duchess in jail won't bring her back. What would that do? Shatarka's family will never forget the face of the woman who took her life just because she wanted to be more beautiful. My daughter got the most inhumane death.